Hello and welcome to the final episode of Gone Ropa. Last time, you remember? Investigation. So, we're gonna pick up where we last left off, namely at the door. I guess I'm the first one this time. Yeah, early in my time. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah? For now at least. But where is everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? Yeah. Don't worry. Excuse me. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just like she said. Byakya! Byakya? They arrived one after another. But they were all in the same state of shock. Hina! Hiro? Silence. And it wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like... The first class trial. <laughs> oh, hi, show. Strong Cyrus is so out of the circle, so hot, my lines are blaze. Yes. Now listen, everything will be just fine if you just leave it to me. But my scissors just scissors to the head. I'll stab a gouge and shoot the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. <laughs> Master wants to give me boy. Girl, why did you give me to I can handle it. Hi, Toko. Lunch? <clears throat> no human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Is everyone here? Ooh, and wearing our gloomy catch faces, I see. Okay, then. Okay, well then, let's begin. The final class trial is gonna be slamming his bitch back to staff. Try that damn sorrow. Yeah, it's one maximum. Eva. Climb maximum. Go figure. You're right. This is the final class trial. And this time, it'll be fair. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean this time? Stop with all the slander! I'm not there good standing at all. If there was a Mr. Fair Guy Universe Contest, I'd take all the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fast square! No, I should not do it. I make sure everyone watching at home knows that despair is mightier than the hope. Enough of your tedious drivel. 
begin the trial already. <laughs> sure, sure, let's begin the trial already. I'll be waiting for you down below. <laughs> so don't try it right away. Laughing as loud as ever, Markuma disappeared. <laughs> what? This will be... This will be over in no time. With an inexplicable... With an inexplicable confidence, Byakyo was the first in the younger. One by one, the others followed. Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just disappeared into the elevator. No. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid. Suspicious of each other. Thank you. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Then well, you can tell us all about it soon. At the class trial. You're right. I'm ready. So ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. I start making my way toward the opening, step after step, toward that gaping mall. I'd resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembled body, calmed my trembling body, and finally on steady legs. I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. Without warning, it began to descend deeper and deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later? I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. This is the final trial site? What do, what do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? <laughs> it's the long-awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'll just sit right here in a vacant 16th seat. Well then, let's begin! Yep, we want to say. <clears throat> well, here, here we are, folks. The mastermind stands exposed and must pay for their crimes. Now all that's left is... The Looming Mystery of Hope's Peak Academy itself. We have what we need. 
We have all 17 of our troop bullets. Yeah. Let's finish this. Special rule. Get started. Right there, good lord, soccer. I figured, I figured as much. In which case, oh, 
張な扱い貴重な証拠だから This one too. It's just like a thought. Just in case I'm going without my glasses. But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's he taking at me? I need to compare each of them one more time. Yakuya's picture. Sakura so doing a show you can uh, on a fish.
hero's picture. And mine. Something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Group photo has been updated in the, the true bullet section of your hand. ごめんなさい、The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. It might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable but entirely horrifying. Amnesia. It's only natural that they, that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how they but no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. And there's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Okay, we are going with the following. DVD 
たちみんなとは希望が峰学園の学園長との面談を要さったのだみみんなって誰のこともちろん朝比奈さんもだよ嘘だよ私は面談なんてやってないもんいいえ嘘じゃないぞその DVD を見れば分かるはずよやっぱり覚えてないんだねお覚えてないって言うかだ,だからって信じろって言うのそんな抑揚室なんてだが反論材料はないなら信じるほかあるまいそがみちゃんなんで余裕なんだってバズってんのか記憶喪失だぞそんなことより他に気になることがある無理ってその DVD に録画されているのは俺たちと学園長との面談だと言ったのそれはどんな内容の面談だったんだ学園長は僕たち一人一人に同じ質問をしてたんだ<音楽>この学園での一生を受け入れるかそれは学園長の質問だよ<音楽>何よその質問それで俺たちは何と答えていたそんなの断るに決まってんだろみんな受け入れてたんだ<笑>それは僕もそうだった<笑>僕自身が僕自身の声でここでの一生を受け入れるって答えてたんだ<笑>な,なんでなんで受け入れてんのよ僕にもわからないよだって覚えてないんだでもそれは他のみんなも一緒のはずよ誰も覚えていないんでしょうここでの一生を受け入れたことも学園長との面談さえもあ覚えてないもんないもん記憶喪失とかここでの一生を受け入れたとかいきなり言われても。信じろって方が無茶だべ無茶だよ何でも信じないことには話が進まないわそうだね正解だからねうバカバカしい結論だけどそれが真実なら認めるしかないわそれ以外に進む道はないということか
毎頭手術で脳をいじったって言えば納得するのそうじゃないでしょ問題はそこじゃないはずだよ問題なのは俺たちのどんな記憶を奪ったのかそういうことだなんだね学園長との面談集合写真の撮影それらの記憶だけを奪ったとは考えられないそこには何か目的があったはずだ俺たちの記憶を奪った目的がなもちろん目的はあるよ例の動機にも関係している目的がねお前が僕たちに殺し合いをさせるために用意したあの動機のことかあれが奪われた記憶とも関係しているのうっうっうっそうなんだけどねでもまだ内緒なの忘れてもらっちゃ困るんだけどこれって黒殺しの学級裁判なんだよねつまりまずは戦場ムクロ殺しの犯人を突き止めろということか、so、tell you that. Well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose.
pretty sure I told you this already, but I'm getting sick of this. This kind of game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the kid and game began are those 16 students. だけど、その中で今も生き残ってるのって。俺ら、だけ。俺は違うぞ。黒幕じゃねえからな。私だって違うよ。私だって違うよ。モスト僕。だって、おかしいじゃない。あんただけが処刑を免れてるなんて。そうだ。処刑から生き残れたのは、ナイギッチ自身が黒幕だったからだな。そうだ。何だ。もっとよ。何言ってんだよ。落ち着いて。慌て
just don't stay up. Yeah, you calm down, Toko. God damn. If you're so sure we're gonna deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? And we're going for the profile. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Iksaba Mukro, send your kids and the Uke in Nagatama. Some of the Queen's get a fire, some of the cards are フェンディリの一員として、ビクトの戦場を渡り歩いたにもかかわらず、ミラクルの彼女の体には傷らしい傷が一つもなかったって。ここまで完璧に引き下がるとは、逆に夢で過ごせやしいわね。Totally denying it. To the truth boys section of your hand. Demo ya, Iksaba Mukuro no chime show ga ano zenshin no kizu da to suru to. Iksaba Mukuro ga koro sareta koto jitai ga koko suujitsu ja nai ってのもマジなんだな。そうだね。僕たちが植物庭園で死体を発見したとき、彼女の死体はすでに死後何日か経過してたんだよ。だとするとその前の晩の件はどうなる、うん、死体が発見された前の晩内には覆面の人物に襲われたと言っていたな戦はムクロが何日か前に殺されていたのならその時の覆面の正体があいつだとは考えられんでは苗木を襲った覆面の人物とは何者だったんだ the one who attacked me. I can't think of anyone else. これだあの覆面の正体が黒幕だったんだよ植物庭園で見つけた戦場ムクロの死体が同じ覆面をかぶってたせいで
あの時の覆面も戦のムクロだったんだと思い込んでたけどでもそうじゃなかったんだあの覆面の正体は戦のムクロじゃなくて黒幕だったんだよ See their face. Mukuro had a very obvious Fenrir tattoo, comparing that to the mask attack. It should be obvious. As deep as any blade, you know. You up to me while I was talking. What for introduction? was in an easy to spot area. That, that tattoo was in a certain easy to spot area. あ
の覆面の正体が戦場無垢だとは考えられないか Kyoko was removing her gloves. Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burned skin. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on.
There's only one place. I can't think of anywhere else the body could have been stored. To prove that shells the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is something that made its way from the bio lab to the garden. myself together and think. The inconsistency in the biolab. Could you be talking about... What?! Oh, 
になるでしょうかいい加減にしろよ大丈夫落ち着いたあなたを惑わそうとしているだけよいや I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. Hiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth. Then Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Sakura was ninth. And victim number ten was Mukuro.
でも黒幕が証拠隠滅するのは自分が関わっている戦場の黒の死体を処分するはずだだけど彼女の死体は残ったままだったんだじゃあ彼の死体が消えちゃったの消えたわけじゃないのかもしれない消えてないならどうして死体の数が合わないのよ丸熊の処刑を含めた殺人は10回起きたけどでもそれらの犠牲者は9人しかいなかったつまりそういうこと Reason there are less bodies than murders. The explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? What would it take for the main reasons? What would it take for that to make sense? The same person was killed twice. <laughs> Oh, we know who. From the wound she had all over her body. Wasn't there someone else who suffered the same sort of injury? That's the one. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Oh, that's a tricky one. I know who it was, it just take that split second of it. Oh. That's it. My silencer. I had to use my silencer. Enoshima Junko san. Kanazo no chimeisho te Ikusaba Mikuro no chimeisho to nitiru yo. Yeah, I 
Alive is Mukuro? But can we really believe that? No. There's no way. There's no way Ikusaba Mukuro is still alive. Like they died, but they, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. Yep, that's it. This is my 
生きているのは彼女の方だそうとしか考えられないよ本当にそうなのか確かに戦場ムクロが死んでいる以上他に可能性があるのは江ノ島純子だけだろう Something reminds me of a case in Phoenix Wright that I did, and it was like that person was considered dead but still alive. あの死は演技だったということになるのだ江ノ島純子の死はお前自身も確認していたはずだぞ Now that you mention it I gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check, absolutely. And I could say for sure. <laughs> I checked her. She was dead. I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive, it would be that Junko's not the one that died. It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely. Maybe she used some sort of trick.
生田の向こうとさそれなら後で再利用されたのもその戦場ムクロの死体ということになるはずだなその身体的特徴も戦場ムクロのプロフィールと一致するはずだよね I remember I, I remember I saw them in、um, Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. The same thing happened with s h a r a s i b o l It was one of the movies, I think. It, 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 it was a retelling of、um, s h a r s origin, so that's why I remember it. To explain how they could have switched at the beginning. You never saw Junko. I mean, you saw Junko, but you never saw Mukuro. ないから
戦場も来るじゃないとも言い切れなかったのだから大陸を襲撃した人物を特定する際あなたがその穴に気づかなくて助かったわ残念だったわねあなたには今さら認めないと言っても遅いわね戦場ムクロに江ノ島純子のふりをさせていたとはそこまで手の込んだ計画が可能だったのはその二人が組んでいたからこそだ超高校級の絶望である戦場ムクロそんな彼女と組んでたってことは江ノ島純子も超高校級の絶望の一人だと考えられるはずだする記憶もなくなったビビってるだけだブブルブブルって何怯えや恐怖それは希望があるからこそ抱く感情絶望しかない僕には無縁な感情だよそれならなぜ黙っている
Unusual circumstance coming to all these pictures. Unusual circumstances, Junko's face. <laughs> That's a kill taco right there. But you know what? How we're gonna prove this? Well, you can just have to find out in the next part. <laughs> See you in the next part when we conclude the finale of Down Down Robot. Right after this.